Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're going to be talking about the Mackie Pro FX 10 version 3. The most important part is the version 3 portion of it. We're going to have a top-down camera view on it and we're going to be doing some recording on Audacity to show you how this works. We are specifically talking about the USB functionality of it. The two channels that come out, but most importantly, the four channels that come back into the mixer. That's channel one and two, and channel three and four, or as Audacity likes to call it, the Pro FX one and two, and the Pro FX three and four. So we're gonna be talking about that and the differences between the two and how to make that all work. It's basically like having a, a mix minus built in to your mixer. So this way you can do a lot of audio recordings, but not capture all that extra layering at the same time while monitoring the situation. So that's today's video. We're gonna have a top-down view and we're gonna have a screen capture. So when you look at any of the Mackie Pro FX series, like their FX10, their version three is really what we're talking about. You are going to get two lines of USB coming out and four lines coming back into the actual mixer. So how important is that? Is that they basically have built in a mix minus. A mix minus is really when we wanna actually listen to something or monitor something, but have the ability to not send it out the main. That means out the, not just the mains up on here, but the two main channels, USB going back to the computer. So by giving us two sets, we've got up here located USB three and four, which would be what most manufacturers are doing at a, at a certain point. And over here, this is the magic one right here. This is the one we're gonna be really focusing on. This is gonna fix a lot of our problems. That's their Pro FX one and two on the sound card. Again, Pro FX three and four up on top and the line Pro FX is what's coming out. So that's what we're gonna see on the actual software we're gonna be using with Audacity. So if I use this button here, it allows me to blend between my input, which is the mixer and the USB channel one, two, which allows me to just listen to what's on my actual computer without sending it back out to the main. This is a big savior because up here, when you have this, no matter what, it's always, always part of the mix. So if I'm listening to my computer while I'm recording something and I needed a backtrack or I'm doing an editing and I need to put in some fresh audio, it'll always listen to and record that on top of everything else. So that can be a bit of a problem and a lot of people try hard to get rid of it. In this case, it's built right in. So we don't have to have some special rig to do a mix minus and all that kind of stuff and try and use the built-in sound card in the laptop, which we'll show in another video. But for this case, it's all there right here. Just press this button. If this button's up, I'm in regular mode. I'm just gonna listen to the mixer traditionally the same way I normally would. If I press this down, by pressing it down, I'm now having the option. I can either go what's on my inputs and what's on my USB just by doing that one function right there. That's how easy that is. So that's really important to the whole sense of what this video is about and how to make this work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the actual software now and we're gonna do a couple of tests. We're gonna do one where we record audio from here and then try and build layers using the USB three and four. And then we're gonna repeat the same function using the USB one and two and show you what the real difference is about that. So the first part we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what happens on a regular mixer that only has two channels into the mixer and two channels out of the mixer. So here are our two channels in the mixer over here. And here are the two regular channels that are coming out of the laptop going back into the mixer. So these are the two channels into the mixer. So when we're dealing with these guys here, every time we record, even if we're playing back, we're going to hear the original track playing uh, along. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a demonstration. I'm gonna do a uh, number count. So we're gonna just do uh, channel one record, and then we're gonna follow up with a second recording, which is gonna be channel two uh, record. So this way you can hear the difference between having just the one and then having it set up differently. So the first one's just a, a sample of the problem that we wanna try and fix. Track one. Track one. Track one. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track three. Track one. Track two. Track three. Track one. Track two. Track three. 
So that's what we're trying to fix. We're trying to get rid of that echo, that repeat effect that happened when we laid down our second set of tracks and our third set of tracks. Uh, because we were actually using the mixing board. So we're listening to the playback through the mixing board, not through the mix minus, which actually occurs on USB one and two. So if we do it again, and we put it on the actual Pro FX one and two, now what's gonna happen is we're not gonna get that echo playback. It's not gonna be part of what's being recorded. We are gonna get to hear everything because it'll play back everything here and then it'll play back everything here. But as it records a new track, you'll notice that this will be what we get and this won't happen. We're gonna get rid of these repetitive problems in our tracks. And then we'll have three individual tracks with three individual sounds that we can then mute and control and save individually and do all that kind of wonderful stuff with. So that's what we're gonna do on this particular run. We're gonna go start over again, but we're gonna use the Pro FX one and two Remember, this one was done with the Pro FX 3 and 4. So let's start over again, switch it back. Pro FX 1 and 2. So now this is going to be all playback with a mix minus setting to it. So we're going to hear it on our headphones, everything, but we're only going to record the individual tracks with the new audio from the mixer. So now remember, what you're listening to is what the actual computer is listening to. So when you only hear certain parts of the audio, that's what the computer is going to be picking up. When I'm all done, it'll layer it all together because I can play it back as a single track. But remember, I always, because I have this turned on here, even though you don't hear it, if there's audio on that Audacity software playing, I will hear it through the headphones. So I'm going to hear everything through the headphones, but you're only going to hear either what I've recorded or what I'm playing back. Track one. Track one. Track one. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track one. Track two. Track three. Track one. Track two. Track three. Track one. Track two. Track three. So that's gonna wrap up this video. We are gonna have a follow-up video, which is gonna be using a traditional USB interface connection, which is two channels out and two channels in. And we're going to achieve the same goals using the internal sound card off our laptop to get there. We're gonna be using a mix minus, a more traditional way of doing this, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. So this way, if you don't have a Mackie mixer, and you really like the mixer you have, you can certainly do this with one of the other guys out there. So there you go. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that pin. Those are always important things when it comes to this channel. I appreciate that very much. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.